Have you ever tried transcribing a podcast, meeting recording, or interview and found yourself wondering who said what? That's exactly the problem that speaker diarization solves. It's like giving your transcription a brain that can tell one speaker from another. Speaker diarization is the process of breaking an audio file into segments based on who is speaking. This technology is a game changer for creating organized and speaker labeled transcripts, which are essential for so many industries and applications. Whether you're working with business calls, interviews, or media production, understanding who said what is critical. Speaker diarization makes your audio data more structured, searchable, and actionable, saving hours of manual effort and adding immense value to your workflows. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use Assembly AI's API in Java to implement speaker diarizationization, step by step. The first thing you want to do is get your free API key from Assembly AI. In order to do that, click on the link in the description box below. And once you're on this page, head on over to get started. At this point, you can create your account for free and you get $50 in free credits to start using Assembly AI's API. And the speaker diarization model is included in this. Once you have logged into Assembly AI's dashboard, you should see something like this. On the right side is where your API key is, and you can easily copy your API key and paste it in whatever IDE that you're using. On the left side, you get to see all of these code examples that you can easily run. You also get to choose your language of preference. Since we're doing this in Java, you can click the Java SDK to get that respective code. To run our code, I'm going to be creating an empty project in IntelliJ. and I'm gonna click Create. Next, we wanna install the latest version of Assembly AI's Java SDK in our project dependencies. So we wanna paste this right into our build.gradle file. Also, make sure to change this value right here to Assembly AI's latest Java SDK version. To find out that value, you can click on Assembly AI's Java SDK link right here on the documentation page, and that will take you to the Maven Central Repository website where you will be able to see what the latest value of our Java SDK version is. In this case, it is 4.0.0. You can also copy it directly from here. So click copy to clipboard. Back in our Java app in build.gradle, under dependencies, I'm going to be pasting that line of implementation code, and I'm going to be running this. Next, we can go on to our main.java file and start writing our code. The first thing we want to do is import assembly AI. And we also want to import transcripts. We then want to go ahead and create an assembly AI client object, which will be communicating with the API and sending our requests over and also getting the results back. At this point, this is where you want to paste your API key and call the build function. Next, we need to create a config object which will contain our transcript parameters. So in our case, we want to turn on speaker labels. To do this, we'll be calling the transcript optional params object. And we'll set speaker labels to true. Next, we want to define a URL of an audio or video file that we would like to transcribe, one that preferably has multiple speakers in it. Now we'll send both our audio URL as well as our parameters to assembly AI and store the returning transcript into a transcript object.
Lastly, we will format the way that we want to print this out. Let's go ahead and run this. And this is the output that you should be getting from Assembly AI. A transcript which contains all the speakers involved in this audio file, as well as what they have said. If you would like to transcribe a file which is stored locally, you can make use of this line of code right here. And also to improve the accuracy of the diarization model, you can also set speakers expected equals to the number of speakers in your audio file or video file. And this will actually improve the performance of the speaker diarization model because it knows how many speakers to expect. To learn to build more with Assembly AI, check out our documentation page for a list of all our endpoints, as well as all the amazing tutorials that we have on our YouTube channel.